Hi there and welcome to this two minute tips video and in this video we're going to look at the retouch menu functionality in the Z series cameras and in this video it's part of a short series we're going to look at the trim and resize options. So as I mentioned in my earlier overview video Processor power in modern mirrorless cameras allows us limited image post-processing in camera. I've split the different functionality up into a ser short series of different videos um, to try and keep them shorter. And this video is going to focus on the trim and resize options. As I explained in the overview introduction video, there are a couple of options to get to this functionality. You can either press the I button when you have an image in playback mode on the LCD, or you can go into the menu system and scroll down to the retouch menu, and there you'll find various options, including the trim and resize options. So let's look at the trim option first, and this is a bit like cropping an image in camera, and you've got various options. So first off, you can choose to crop in and crop out. Now to do this, you use the magnifying glass buttons on the back of the camera. The magnifying glass with the plus in it makes the crop box bigger and the magnifying glass with the minus sign in it makes the crop box smaller. Now this is slightly reverse logic to me because if I was looking at a magnifying glass with a plus in it, I think that increases the magnification, therefore the box will get smaller and the minus would make it bigger. So it's slightly reverse logic, but you get used to it when you use it a bit. The second um, functionality is to change the aspect ratio of the crop if you want to. And to do this, you use the main control dial on the back of the camera and you can scroll through the different options um, using that. You can also move the crop box around over the image to get the right crop um, that you want. And to do this, you use the multi selector to move the box around. And when you've used all of that functionality and you're happy with the crop, you press OK and the camera saves a copy um, with a new file name at the end of the camera roll. The second functionality, the resize option that we're going to look at, sounds a bit like trim but it's not. Resize is linked to creating smaller file size images um, if you wanted perhaps to um, then um, share them with social media or use them as a thumbnail. And when you go into the retouch options around this, you've got two options. You've got select image and you've got choose size. You've first got to choose the size you want to output the new image to, and you've got four options. You've got 3.5 megapixels, you've got 2.5 megapixels, 1.1 megapixels, and 0.6 megapixels, so getting smaller as you move across. And each of those has a different level of pixels on each um, axis of your image. So 2.5 megapixels is a 1920 by 1280 um, image, which could be quite useful if you're looking for perhaps a 4K um, thumbnail, for example. What you do is you select the size you want, and then you go up to select image, you select the image that you want to apply it to, and you press OK. Now, once you've resized an image, you can't resize it a second time, and it's the same if you've cropped or trimmed an image, you can't do that a second time. And what you'll see in the thumbnails is a yellow box in the middle of the image with a, a yellow X through it, just to denote that that image has already been processed or adjusted and you can't adjust it again. And that will vary depending on what you've done to the different images. Now, once you've resized it or trimmed it, as I say, you can't then go back and make delighting um, adjustments to it, for example. So you've got to think about the order in which you apply the adjustments. Um, so I would always look to do resizing and trimming after I've made the other adjustments to the perhaps the lighting, the exposure in camera. Do it as the last thing, because once you've done it, you can't then go back and do other um, adjustments. 
So how many of you are using in-camera retouching functionality? Let us know in the comments below. It'd be great to hear what you're using it for. So I do hope you're finding these videos useful. If you are, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell and you'll be notified of future videos. And as always, I look forward to seeing you on a future video.